This is the solution to written homework 15. Okay, so uh, the best idea is the substitution for this one, and the reason is because uh, any time, any Anytime there are multiple terms in a radical, like in this exercise where we have the square root of x plus 5, it's a good idea to try a substitution. terms in the radical. Okay. So specifically, we're going to try uh, u is equal to x plus 5, the terms that are inside the radical. So then du is dx. So let's see what we're able to cover with that. So we have u is x plus 5. So that's covered by that. And we have du is dx, so that covers that part. But then we've got that extra x hanging out. So the question, in a sense, is, is well, what about the extra x? <clears throat> well, we can solve for x, which is to say that notice that in these equations we have u variables on one side and x variables on the other, du differentials and dx differentials on uh, opposite sides. So we want an x. Well, notice that this particular in this particular equation, we can solve for x. And if we do that, x is u minus 5. So we're going to replace x with u minus 5. After doing that, square root u minus 5 over square root u du. And you might look at this one and say, oh, it looks just as bad as the original. However, um, now we can do some algebra and say, well, this is u over square root u minus 5 over square root u. du. <clears throat> and then simplifying this further, this would be antiderivative of u to 1 half, because that first term simplifies in that way, and then minus 5 u to negative 1 half du. Now we can use the power rule. So this would be u to 3 halves divide by 3 halves, minus 5 u to 1 half, divide by 1 half, plus a constant, and then simplifying and replacing with 
use with x's. This would be 2 thirds uh, u, but that was x plus 5, so x plus 5 to 3 halves minus 10, because that division by half is the same as multiplication by 2, x plus 5 to 1 half plus a constant. Okay, for this one, again, a substitution. So how about w? w is 1326 plus e to 2t. So dw is e to 2t times 2dt. We don't have 2dt, so I'll move that 2 to the other side. So then after that substitution, this would be antiderivative of 1 over w dw over 2. Well, that division by 2 can be factored out, so that's just uh, equal to natural log, oops, half uh, natural log absolute value of w plus a constant. So that's half natural log absolute value 1, 3, 2, 6 plus exponential 2t plus a constant. And then because uh, the thing inside of the absolute value is always positive, you can drop the absolute value. 